Hello all, good evening. And sorry for the confusion here. Uh, I guess I could see the message at 610. Yeah. So I was argument with other calls, so it, it extended the call. That's fine. So let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Suresh, and I am the uh, trainer who is going to take you the dynamic CRM course content here. And regarding my experience, I am in total of 14 years in the IT industry and uh, like 11 years in the dynamic CRM. Yeah, let's start the session today. <laughs> and as you know, uh, I could see, but not sure how you are come across with this dynamic CRM and who suggested you to go with this dynamic 365 platform. But at least by today, you should be able to just, I want to give you the, some insights on Dynamics 365 on what is the CRM and what is this Dynamics and what are the opportunities we have. And uh, there is a lot of confusion with the Dynamics CRM in the market. Let me clarify all this information in the demo session so that at least if you are not looking for this course, maybe if you are looking for the another, then before entering into this course content, you can get some clear picture in it. So to start with this Dynamics 365, today my agenda is to uh, like how to, you, I want to explain like what is Dynamics CRM and uh, who uses this Dynamics 365 and what is the modules and what we are going to cover the, in this particular course content. And by end of this course, what your eligibility to procure the job under and what are the job opportunities in the industries. And let's discuss this part today. So before this Dynamics CRM, just you need to understand what is CRM. So what is this dynamic CRM? And so to do, to understand this information, first you need to understand what is CRM and why to use the CRM. Right. So here CRM is nothing but it is like customer relationship management. Of course, you may, some of you may know this information, but as like trainer, I, know, I need to provide the basic from the scratch level information I need to guide you. So here CRM is nothing but it is like customer relationship management. So which companies will use this customer relationship management? So, you know, previously we have some ERP modules, right? In, in the previous, in the olden days, of course, still some of the companies are still using the ERP. Now, maximum, many of the companies are moving to the CRM applications there. CRM application, which is used to maintain some uh, activities like 360 degree level of activities we can maintain for the customer. I mean to say, let's simple, for the simple understanding, let me take an example of BMW here. Again, why it is BMW in a sense, this is again for the Dynamics customer. Now let's say BMW is a car company, you know, right? So to maintain the activities of this organization, you need to have some marketing strategies, right? They should have some marketing team and they should have some of the sales team and also they should have some of the service team, right? That means why this market is used, marketing is used to generate the leads there. Leads is nothing but the person who is interested to show uh, the person who is uh, interested to purchase your product. That is nothing but the leads. So just the basic technology here, this is what actually we are going to see in the regular classes. Now, let's say I could see 10 participants here. Your 10 participants going to be the lead for my extra IT solutions. What is sale? Once you purchase my product, then it is going to be my customer or my account. Account contact, this is nothing but my customer. Before purchasing, before purchasing my product, you are my lead to my organization. That is called lead, right? This is general information, like whatever. It's like general terminology, right? Now, uh, the company like BMW here will choose some CRM applications to implement all this life cycle from lead to service. So once uh, you need to promote some your products with some campaigns, that everything will taken care in the marketing. And there is some sales process to make this sale, converting this lead to sale. We should have some process that will be taken care in the sales. And uh, after purchase, after selling your product, you need to provide the service, right? For any product, it's, service is like most important industry, I mean to say. Uh, this service will enhance your company branding. And let's say you purchase the BMW car here. So how you are providing the service to your customer that enhances your business, right? The service here that service activities will be maintained in this service uh, module so now let's assume the bmw is company is not using the any softwares and if they are pro following the manual process then what will happen maybe hundreds of leads will be generated daily and thousands of customers is available 
and thousands of services they need to perform in the daily in, uh, throughout the branches. If you, they are pro going through the manual process, there may be some miscommunication like it's timely updation is not providing to the customer maybe. That leads to your degradation of your brand value. And uh, maybe some of the leads showing interest to purchase your product, but your sales representative, but your salesperson missed to contact this lead. Then you are losing your business there. This is how some gaps will be there if you're going with the manual process. So to avoid this manual process, to make all this into the system based, for that the companies will choose the CRM applications. Now you know why, why, what is the CRM and why the CRM will be used, right? CRM is nothing but customer relationship management by using some softwares like CRM softwares available in the market. You can maintain throughout the life cycle of sale process from marketing, sales and service. Everything can be taken care by using this customer relationship management software. If you the name itself defines customer relationship management, you are maintaining the good relationship and you are maintaining each and every activities of the customer using some software that is called CRM. Right? That is CRM CRM software. Now you know why to use CRM in order to avoid the manual process and to make everything into like system based and automate. We will go with the CRM now. Now let's say BMW decided to go with the CRM application. Now you need to understand, even though as a consultant, as your job looking guy, you should understand what are the different CRM applications available in the market, right? That's the first step. While you are choosing some course, you should understand what is the scope of this dynamic CRM. Right. For that, you need to understand what are the available CRMs here. For it, we have dynamic CRM and we have the Salesforce CRM. Uh, before that, someone please confirm uh, my screen is visible, right? And am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Yeah, right. yeah, the market. Uh, so uh, existing CRMs in the market, it is like Dynamic CRM and Salesforce CRM and Oracle CRM. SAP CRM, Joho, Sugar and some more, but no, not no, no, nowhere in the market. Some of the few it's like already deprecated. So these are the some of the CRM applications which is available in the market. So while choosing now in the let's here, let's see in the two perceptions, I mean to say one in like in terms of organization, who would like to use the customer relationship management in one perception and in another perception, you should be checking how you are going to get the job while you are choosing any one of this technology. That's what actually it depends, right? So if you are trying to learn something, if you are trying to put some time to learn this thing, uh, you should be able to get the jobs on it. You should be able to get the calls on it. How you can decide that? That can be decided. How many companies are, what is the usage of this dynamic CRM? There is like, you know, what is CRM now? So, you know, what are the CRM applications or CRM softwares available in the market? But how? what is the highest rate? I mean to say, which companies are using which software? What is the occupancy of the software by the industry? Here again, what type of, Companies will use in the sense it is like different, different companies, automobile sector will use the CRM application, manufacturing will use the CRM. And you know, utilities, health sector, oil and industry, right? And many more uh, oil and industry like banking again, like different, different sectors are using this CRM application to maintain this customer relationship and the CRM applications they are maintained, right? Now you could see the total currently it is like, I could say dynamic CRM in the second position. This I am talking with the statistics, with the statistics and the uh, news, which you could see the business news, right? Second position, it is like dynamic CRM is going, currently it is in second position. And what is the first position? First position, I could say it is like Salesforce. It's in first position. So that means, but if you see the year on year growth, you know, year on year growth, right? How they are getting business for every year. So here it is like 5.8% year on year growth. It is it is uh, figuring out. Here uh, the Salesforce is figuring to 5.2%. Year on year growth, it is 
heading to 5.2 percent every year on year growth. This statistics is based on the uh, business business insights, like how the uh, companies are performing or not. Companies performing in the sense it, this is not about throughout the Microsoft, the Microsoft of Dynamic CRM product. You know, my Dynamic CRM is from Microsoft, right? Microsoft, in terms of Dynamic CRM, it is performing year on year growth 5.8 percent. Now you could see the position like one and two. Maybe after a few years, I'm not sure, but just as per my experience, you may get this to the first position. Why? Because Dynamic CRM is like vast subject. Here in the Dynamic CRM, you know, it's like Microsoft product. Whatever you are using, everything is integrated. It is like one-stop solution where you have different applications here like SharePoint for the document management and Teams integration for internal communication or for the uh, chat and all, right? And for the mail, you have Outlook, right? In this way, you have, and you have the Adobe as well. So different, different applications is there. So it is like one-stop solution as well as the Azure. Nowadays, you could see the Azure and all for, uh, for the uh, cloud perspective, Azure. These are every, all the applications is from the Dynamics here. Now it is integrating everything. That means here you are going to share the single admin center. That means we, we, we have the power platform admin center here in which we are used to, we are maintaining all this application in single admin center. So that means it has vast, it, it has more feasibility to explore the applications which uh, we are going to use in the applications. Right. This has their own credibility or own uh, advantages so that this is year on year both keep on increasing year by year. And as per my knowledge, in, in near future, it is going to get first position in the market. So this is in terms of, as I said, there is two, two perceptions here. As a consultant, you should acquire the position. You should learn some new technology or some technology which has a lot of scope. Now let's say there is a SAP CRM. Few years back, like four to five years back, you could hear this SAP CRM more in the market. But you, you see the year on year growth here, it is like minus 1.2% is like year on year growth. Minus 1.2% in the sense, companies are removing this, they are not using the SAP, SAP CRM. They are migrating to some other technologies like dynamic CRM or Salesforce CRM. That's what they are losing the business. That means in, maybe in after a few years, the SAP CRM will be no, nowhere, right? This is how you need to understand whether I need to whether I am learning the correct technology or not. So that's I mean uh, what I'm trying to explain here is if you are choosing any technology like leading technologies, then you will sustain in the market. Now you are now you can sustain in the market. Just give me a minute, please. Yeah, sorry. So here, uh, I mean to say, you need to you need to acquire the uh, top leading technologies in the market so you can sustain for the long period in the market. But I can assure you, if you are into dynamic CRM, no, if you are into dynamic CRM, you no need to look back. That means like no, you no need to switch back between the different softwares there. That's I can assure you. And come back to this dynamic CRM in, in BMW, this perspective, they can choose the dynamic CRM. Why not the other in the sense they can have multiple options there. They can have more feasibility to integrate with the different products and all, right? That's that's a benefit for the companies like BMW while purchasing the licenses. And for the consultant perspective, if you, you are choosing the top uh, top in the market, like market leader, you will get more jobs. Why? Because with this feasibility, many companies are adopting the dynamic CRM so that you can get more jobs there. Right now, you understand what is this dynamic CRM and uh, now. So now let's understand. There is some lot of confusion in the market regarding this dynamic CRM. First, let me clear that part. Why? Because even though someone suggested you to go to choose the dynamic CRM, but uh, what is dynamic CRM actually? Dynamic CRM is nothing but it's like single like sales service marketing. No, there is lot of confusion. If you go to the uh, Amir Pet or some other locations there. You could see some boards on Power Apps and Microsoft CRM, Dynamic CRM, a lot of confusion with the terminology here. Let me give you a clarification on it first. Pre previously, we used to call it as Microsoft CRM. Right? Previously, we used to call it as Microsoft CRM. And later, it turned to Dynamics 365. Right? Now, in the market, they are referring it as D365 or Dynamics Dynamics 365 or Microsoft 
Dynamics 365, right? Or still someone is still calling as Microsoft CRM. So the terminology where everything is same, lot of confusion with Microsoft CRM and Dynamics 365. Both are same. If you go with Microsoft CRM or Dynamics 365, both are same, right? This is first thing with the terminology where lot of people are confusing with it. And what is this Power Apps now? Power Apps is nothing but it is like new interface where you are going to develop or where you are going to create an application, applications. Previously, we call it as classic applications. Now it is like model driven application. Model driven application, everything is developed in the Power Apps only. Now you could see some boards with the Power Apps there. Uh, let me just before it, maybe this is more advanced, but let me show you the interface here with my uh, trial account. This is my trial account, which I'm trying to log in with the URL. Just want to showcase you what is this Power Apps and all, just to give you basic knowledge on it. So this is my organization. Uh, here, make dot Power Apps, which is my URL, where I can develop some applications here. Here it shows make.powerapps.com. This is nothing but this is an interface or some admin center sort of scenario where you are developing your tables or, or whatever applications you have, right? So this is like make.powerapps, which you could see. That's what, uh, as I said, there is some separate boards they are getting like it's power apps, different codes, something like that. No, it's like power apps, which it deals with the all the available tables in the database and all where you are trying to create a new tables, new solutions and all where you are going to work here. This is Power Apps only, right? And home page, you could see this is like Dynamics 365. What are the sales applications and all which you could see here? To work with these uh, uh, components in the back end, you are working in the Make dot Power Apps. As simple as that, right? I get. Uh, I hope this is clear for Power Apps and terminology wise. D365, Dynamics 365, Microsoft Dynamics 365, and everything is same. Now, this is about the terminology and how you are referring the Dynamics 365. Now, coming to this job perspective, here in Dynamics 365, we have two things here. One is Dynamics 365 CE. What is CE again? Customer engagement. This is customer engagement. Okay. And in the same way, we have Dynamics. 365 F and O. This is finance and operations. So a lot of the students which I could see in my like in this long career, I mean to say previously F and O is called as here we are calling Microsoft CRM to Dynamics 365, right? In the olden days, we used to call it as AX. Instead of Dynamics 365 F and O, we will call it as Dynamics 365 AX. Now this was changed to F and O there, right? This is technology wise. Now, as I said, there is two things here. In the Dynamics 365, you are going to have Dynamics 365 customer engagement and Dynamics 365 finance and operations. That means here, what actually we are going to cover here. In Dynamics 365 CE, the core applications is sales, customer service, marketing and field service these are the core applications which we which we would like which we need to learn in customer engagement right while coming to this finance and operations here you need to go with finance this is one business application and supply chain management right and again, warehouse, warehouse management, and project operations. These are the core business applications which we need to learn. Now, there may be a question for you. What if I go with Dynamics 365? That means once you learn this particular topic, if you want to go as a consultant in your resume, you should be like Dynamics 365 CE consultant, right? Regarding job, the resume should be D365. Here, D is Dynamics, right? D365 CE consultant. And again, we have D365 F and O consultant. There is 
the job profiles are totally different for these two things. Now, this CE consultant should not, no need to bother about these applications and f &O consultant, no need to bother about these applications. I mean to say, even though it is like Dynamics 365 single product, but here, if you are into Dynamics 365 CE, you no need to have knowledge on these applications. As I said, I'm working like almost 10 to 11 years in CE. Still now, I don't know what is ABC in these applications that you can assume. So we no need to bother about f and topic there. Here, maybe you may be come for CE or f and I'm not sure. Here, I deals with Dynamics 365 CE, that is customer engagement only, right? We are not going to discuss about Dynamics 365 f and this is totally different concept. This is totally different course. If you would like to have this Dynamic 365 F&O, please ping in the group. We have some separate faculty, a separate trainer for this F&O. He has like 22 years of experience. If you would like to go with F&O, please drop a message in the chat. So my admin team will help you to, uh, to add you in that F&O group, right? Here I am focusing the Dynamics 365 customer engagement plan. Here, as I said, in the job profile, you can go with Dynamic 365 CE consultant and f &O consultant. As I said, now f &O, it is not our job. I mean to say it's not in our bucket now. Now here coming to this Dynamic 365 only. Here, if you want to go for some job there, here again, two things we have in the CE. One is functional consultant and another is D365 CE technical consultant. Right? These are the two jobs we have. Even for the F&O, it's the same scenario, functional consultant and technical consultant. What is the difference between the functional and technical? This is like regular. If you are in the IT industry, you know. Yeah, I, I could see some questions in the chat, but please let me give me 10 more minutes. So after that, I will take the question up there. So here in the uh, job perspective, Dynamic 365 CE functional consultant and Dynamic 365 CE technical consultant, right? So in the same way, for f and as well, we have the CE functional and technical. But here, if you want to go with the technical consultant, in the CE, here you should have the knowledge on C sharp code. You should have C sharp coding knowledge here for the Dynamics 365 CE, right? If you want to go technical in f and you should have C sharp plus X plus plus. C sharp will be sufficient, but some in some of the functionality, you can't go with the C sharp. For that, you need to learn X plus plus, including along with the C, uh, C sharp, you are, should also learn the X plus uh, plus technical uh, skill there, coding language. Then you can go with the technical consultant. Here, now you, you say, what is the extra here in the sense? Whatever the applications which we are teaching here, like sales, customer service, marketing, field service, and all, along with this, extra is C sharp only. Even though technical consultant consultant should understand the these concepts along with this C sharp is an extra add on for them, right? Why this? What actually these technical people will do? They will create some plugins. The C sharp will be used to create some plugins. That means uh, now let's say any of the organization who chooses the CRM application. That means Dynamic CRM has some research and development team. They are continuously improving their product with different functionality and all, right? From marketing to sales after uh, from generating leads to uh, sales and service and all but what if each and every organization has different business process right that that is expected only now let's say icic bank is again the uh, dynamics customer and i guess uh Potak or hdfc they are Potak, i guess they are using the icic on i'm sorry they are using the uh, dynamics crm only so even though they are from the banking sector they have their own competition they want to implement more extra functionality or they want to have some extra functionality there. In that scenario, whatever the application they are using, whatever the CRM application they are using, that application should allow you to extend the logic, right? Now you have some fixed functionality, like Dynamic CRM is like plug and play option where you can start, uh, you can purchase the license and you can start working with the marketing sales and service without developing any functionality. That means you can use the existing system functionality by some of the configurations there, right? So, but that company may decide to have some more logic, some more extend, uh, they need to extend the existing function functionality. For that, you need to provide that provision, right? As a dynamic CRM, as a Microsoft should provide that feasibility. So for that, we have this C-sharp code. 
where by using this C sharp code, they can create some plugins uh, with this C sharp code and to extend the functionality. Right now, let's say in your application, you have maybe if you have your form after adding the details, if you click on save, what will happen? The record will be saved in the database. But before saving, if you want to have some more logic should be implemented. For that, you can write this C sharp code. That will be taken care by the technical consultants. Right. This is about the job perspective and dynamic CRM or like uh, here, what is CRM I have explained and why to use CRM, customer relationship management. Now, what are the core business applications I have explained and coming to the market stand uh, market uh, list, like I mean to say how many uh, CRMs are available, like what are the top market leaders and all. I given the pictures here. This is from the business news only. This is not from my own knowledge, I mean to say. You can check in your uh, internets and all. And uh, so that is like dynamic CRM position. It is like grooming more, much more uh, here. Uh, I mean to say it's like leading now. Uh, year on year growth, it is showing good progress regarding the, uh, to acquire the market in, in the industry. And different uh, sectors will are using this dynamic uh, CRM applications there. And coming to this share, uh, CRM, we have different uh, applications. Of course, it's like your licensed ways, you can purchase these licenses and all, right? And the terminology wise, what is this terminology like Microsoft CRM and regarding the confusion, I have explained this scenario. And this is about the CE and FNO. This is about basic understanding of before starting with the CRM application, right? Now, let me give some more information like what is Microsoft Dynamics CRM, that's which I explained. So I actually, I won't believe with this PPT and all, maybe this is something like spooling thing, but just I want to go with some realis realistic data. So I use the notepad. But just to give you a picture on what is this Microsoft Dynamics CRM and why to use this Microsoft Dynamics CRM, just I explain what is Microsoft Dynamics CRM. This is just to have like to maintain the customer relationship and all, right? So why to use Dynamics CRM? While well, different CRMs are available in the system, so you could see some of the points here are uh, to maintain good relationship with the customers with timely communications and all. And coming to this flexible pricing in the olden days. Uh, now, if you if the company wants to purchase the dynamic CRM, now let's say one company they develop the product. Maybe it's not required service for it. It is like use and throw product. Maybe just for our assumption. Even though still, if I purchase a license, I should have. Uh, I'm going to get sales, customer service, market, and all the applications there. But even though you are not using this service application, but still you are going to get this application. That is like single package. But nowadays it was updated. And due to pricing and to uh, lessen the cost uh, to uh, to less the costing to the company, they have some flexible with the pricing. So based upon their requirement, they can purchase only sales, service, or marketing. Based upon their requirement, you can purchase your particular application. That, that means there is some flexibility to the pricing. And uh, regarding the accessibility, you can access this particular CRM application. Here it shows in the browser, right? In the same way, you can access this application in Android, iOS, uh, uh, tablet or any any sort of platforms you can access the CRM. That means it is compatible with different platforms. And regarding the updates, uh, for any software, how you can decide like it should not have the bugs, right? And the update should be like timely update should be performed. Here in the updates, of course, in the tomorrow's uh, the first class, I am going to explain you in detail of the updates. But here, I, for just for a brief, here, for every year, there is two major updates will be there. Every year, there is two major updates. And coming to the minor updates, every weekend and every Friday, you are going to have some updates in the system. Right? For every weekend, you have come some minor updates. Now, let's say if you want to see the uh, uh, version of the dynamic CRM here, settings. Here, you could see the about. So, now let's say this is our current version of your server. You could see some difference here for every weekend. Maybe uh, today is like Thursday, I guess, yeah, Thursday. By tomorrow, this time, you are going to see some different in this version number. That means for every weekend, you are going to have some minor updates. This minor, up, uh, you may ask like, if it is keeps on updating your product, like every weekend, how it is going to affect the production? It is not going to affect in any way. I mean to say in the major releases, like every year in the March and October, there is some major releases like wave one and wave two, which I will discuss detail in the tomorrow's or day after tomorrow's class. Here in the major releases, you are going to have some, see some difference in the UI part 
the look and feel may be changed or extra functionality may be added. But this regular updates will only to have some, if there is any bug fixes or any security patch updates for this only. Dynamic CRM is like regular process. It is like continuous process. Every week it is going to update something there, right? And coming to automate your process, as I said, any company will choose the CRM applications to avoid the manual process, right? So to automate the process. Now let's say when the, once the lead is created, once the lead is created in the system, so there should be no manual intervention here. Automatically, that lead should be assigned to some sales representative. And that sales representative should assign some task there. Or the system itself should send some email notification to the salesperson stating that, yeah, we have received a uh, lead in our system. Please go on contact with the lead and provide our product details. Right? In that way, it should send some email communication. For everything, you should automate the process there. So again, no manual intervention should be there. For that, you can automate your process with your automation topics there, right? And business insights, you know, again, Power BI is from Microsoft only. You can have some beautiful uh, reports there. Otherwise, you can inbuilt, you have, you can create chats, dashboards, and views and all to, to see the data. But here, the Power BI is totally different concept. I mean to say here, we are not going to bother about the Power BI reports generation. As a dynamic CRM consultant, that is, in our, that is not in our job profile. Right? But you can use this Power BI in your application. That's what, as I said, uh, this dynamic CRM has more flexibility here. Right Here we have the Power BI and all, which can be easily integrated. And here we can use the Power BI. Here, if you see the Power Platform, here you could see the Power BI as well. That means it is like multi, all the products which is available in the dynamic CRM, you can use the same platform for it. Right, you can integrate dynamic. You can access the dynamic CRM data and all all the tables in the Power BI, and you can simply create and report there. But as a job role, we are not going to bother about the Power BI reports. If you have an interest for this Power BI, that's like uh, I, I, from my end, I suggest you you don't need to have separate training for Power BI. If you go to the ten to twelve, uh, 12 10 to fifteen videos in the YouTube, you are able to create a beautiful Power BI email, uh, reports by using with the simple YouTube links there. Right after learning the dynamic CRM, uh, why? Because you need to learn how to uh, create the tables, how to add this data, and all right. So after you have the data to create a Power BI reports, it's like pretty much easy. It's like drag and drop scenario. There. And centralized data, as I said, you have some uh, separate servers will be maintained. At a, it is like separate tenant will be provided for the user. So uh, in the tenant, you are going to have your all instances there, and you are going to access the data with the secure data you can maintain there. Like right. coming to this integration, you have like Excel, Word, and Outlook, whatever, like SharePoint and all. You can have the, some integration to avail the uh, feasibility, avail the uh, benefits from the other uh, other applications like SharePoint, Outlook, and all. So excellent user interface. Uh, the look and feel wise, uh, in the model driven apps, it's got more. It, it improved the look and feel. Uh, look and feel. So you can see the good uh, charts. This is how the uh, dynamic CRM looks like. This is from the uh, website web application, and this is from the iOS application. In the same, you can have the Android and iOS and all. This is how the uh, application look and feel will be, where you can access in different platforms there, right? And this image, which explains you what are the different business applications available in Microsoft CRM, that is Dynamic CRM. If you see here, there is finance, operation, customer service, field service, project service, sales, marketing. This Microsoft Dynamic CRM, it is a bundle of different applications here. That's what we are discussing here, right? Dynamic CRM, Dynamic 365, it's like combination of all these applications, all these applications. But as a job profile, as a job uh, to do some job uh, for the job profile, they have segregated Dynamic 365 CE will deal with these applications only and FNO will deal with these applications. So just for your knowledge, previously we have project service automation. Previously we have this project service automation, which we will call it as PSA. This is just for your knowledge. This is not going to have any impact on your course. I mean to say here, it is like project service automation. Now that got renamed to project service, right? Now it is renamed to project operations. So previously this PSA, this project operation now, Previously, it is project service automation and it is project operations now, right? Okay. Previously, this project operations is under CE, right? Like one and a half year or two years back, they removed from CE and they have placed in FNO. Now you can assume like 
you don't need to bother of, of different applications there. Right? This is about the applications there. This is just for your information how the Dynamics, uh, that means if you log into the CRM uh, Dynamics 365 FNO, FNO, if you, after purchasing the licenses and if you log into the CRM FNO application there, then you can see only these applications. You can't see the sales, customer service, marketing and all. So if you want to integrate, if you want to transfer the data, there have some dual right integration is there. You need to use some integrations to transfer the data there. That means it is like totally, maybe it's like dynamic CRM. It's like unique, but to transfer the data as well, it is not sharing the single database. It is entirely different. You need to integrate something like you need to use the dual right sort of scenario where to have transfer the data between uh, CE and FNO, right? And so this is just to explain out of the box. Out of the box is nothing but what are the functionality provided by the uh, CRM by default, like tables some fields. Uh, previously it is entity. Now we are referring it as table only. Of course, in technology wise, I will explain you in detail once we are into the system there. Uh, some of the out of the box features is provided like tables and fields and records, forms and all. What actually this term? As I said, now let's say this BMW decided to go with some CRM software and they decided to go with Dynamics CRM. After getting an idea to go with dynamic CRM, it is like it is like simple plug and play. You purchase the license and you start implementing, you start using your application as simple as that. But in olden days, you know the on-premise as well, right? What is on-premise? Just for the technology wise. Of course, in CRM, still we have support of on-premise. Still, there is an on-premise in Microsoft Dynamics. This on-premise is nothing but the servers network and everything will be maintained in the customer premises, right? This everything will be maintained by the customer just in their servers. Dynamic CRM is a software will be installed on their servers and the security and everything will be taken care by the thus company only. Now let's say this BMW would like to, now let's say ICIC Bank or Wells Fargo. Previously, Wells Fargo is now Wells Fargo Bank, you know, right? Wells Fargo is again the Dynamic CRM customer. Previously, Wells Fargo is using the on-premise CRM. That means they are maintaining their own servers, then their own network, and within their premise, they have the servers and all. Why in the sense? They are the bank sector. Maybe they have their, their own, uh, uh, their own uh, things there. So they're maintaining their servers in their premises. What happens if they go with the online? Online is nothing but the servers is maintained at the MS side. The Microsoft will maintain the servers, right? And there is some open uh, in the customer perspective they may think that it's like as it is like bank we may have visibility to to my data to other customers so i would i don't want to go with the online so they are with the on premise at that time but after some time they came to know that how the security concepts maintained by the microsoft even though microsoft employees can't able to access your data that's like security concept which they implemented. Uh, of course, that's like regular thing. Uh, even though you are having some service with the some customer team, you are not going to provide access to the data, right? That's up to only the customer. So here, what if they go with on-premise? They have some huge amount they need to invest regarding the servers, regarding the network, set up the network, and they, again, they need to have some resources like employees to maintain the servers, to maintain the network and all. It costs to the company, right? Now, if you go to the online, simply they can purchase the license. It's like plug and play. Simply they can purchase the license and they can start using the application. That is nothing but the online. Here, as I said, once you purchase the license, uh, you can have some accounts and all. This how the tables are created. It's like thousands of tables already available in the database. I mean to say once the uh, you created a trial account, some database is automatically created in the database already tables are available like accounts contacts leads opportunities quotes invoices these are some of the tables there out of the box they will call it as out of the box tables that means how these tables are created how the, the crm created in the sense microsoft created in the sense they have some research and development team throughout the globe they have some analysis on different industries like automobiles banking and all how they maintain their businesses Based upon it, CRM has created some tables, suggesting you can use these tables for collecting the data. Now, let's say if you want to collect the data of your customer, you can use the contacts or accounts table there. In that way, it designs some database. That's up to you. If you are going to use the table, that's up to you. But if you want to extend the table or if you want to create a new table, again, Microsoft provides that feasibility so that the customers can create new tables as well. That's purely up to you. 
But as I said, if you are going with online, this BMW simply they can plug and play. Once they purchase the license, simply they can use this out of the box functionality and they can start building their data there. That's about the out of the box functionality. In detail, we will see once we are into the system there. And regarding the security and access level, this is like good option, good, uh, I mean to say the security wise, it is easy to understand how to maintain the security and access levels there. So with this security and access level, you can uh, you can maintain the security not only on the table level, I mean to say on the uh, regarding the data, you can also have the security on the field level as well. That's how you can create the securities that we are going to see in detail. And here the business units concept we have, business unit not, nothing but, now let's say BMW is the company who is going to use the CRM. If they have three branches, one is in India, one is in US and one is in UK, right? One, one business unit is nothing but, this is like business unit, India is one business unit, US is one business unit, UK is one business unit. This is this image just to you to show how the uh, CRM is maintaining their structure in the backend. So here for every, uh, for every branch, they will maintain some business unit so that they can provide the security on the business unit level. So now let's say if TCS is the company using the CRM and Suresh is working in business unit A, maybe in Hyderabad branch. Now this Suresh should not have access to the records from the business unit B, maybe the Bangalore branch. That's how you are say, maintaining this thing by using this business units and implementing the securities on this business unit. That's how in depth we will discuss later, but just to provide you how that uh, structure and how the database will be maintained in the backend. And this will explain you the sales life cycle and uh, for marketing sales and service, we have different life cycle there. So as I said, it is like out of the box functionality in the sense, you the sum of the process is already designed there. So you just, you can add some leads here from lead to generating invoice. You can simply use the functionality without writing a single piece of code, without doing anything, just for little bit configurations. You know what is configurations and customization. Customization is nothing but which you are trying to implement new functionality in the system. And configuration is nothing but which you are using the system and creating something. Let's say you are creating users, you are creating security. This all comes under configuration set. With some few configuration, you can, uh, from lead to invoice, you can generate by using the out of the box functionality itself. That's just to give you some picture on sales life cycle. This is the graph, of course, I will explain it in detail. In the same way, we have the customer service as well and uh, where we can have different uh, activities. We can maintain the activities, email, task and all of the customer and how the cases will be assigned to the engineers or how the engineers will be uh, providing solutions to the customer. And we have some SLAs there, we have some entitlements and all how you are going to configure this customer service to have this uh, service there. Then we will use the customer service application. There. Sales is for sales application, right? And in the same way, we have this field service. And field service, within this field service as well, you can get the jobs in field service, especially. To give you a basic understanding of why this field service, you know Ola Uber service, right? So when you book a cab, you, if you are in Amir Pet and if you book a cab, it should alert the booking to the nearby the nearby the cab from from your location but it should not go to the dilshuk nagar cab right why because it it will uh, makes more time or, or it will consume more fuel and it will take more time and all right so the system will automatically allot the uh, available cabs and all so this sort of field service which can be used to provide service to the customer on their locations maybe online or offline in different modes you can provide the service this is how just for your understanding for now field service which is like used for the ola and uber cabs right where you can provide service i mean to say where you can allot the resources here in the different way but uh, let's say you have some requirement you have some work order from amir pet and you have some resources with their skills just for your understands i have some resources maybe labor resources some are from ac repair some are from washing machine repair let's assume I received a call from Amir Pet for washing machine repair. Then my system will automatically search how many resources are there with the skill of washing machine repair and it will sort out and from there how many resources are nearby to this Amir Pet. And there is an algorithm in the backend. System will take care and automatically assign the resource nearby resource to the uh, Amir Pet. How this is going to perform? For that you need to configure the system. With the configuration we can achieve this field service. This is just for the map. Here it shows the map and where is your resource is available and how he, he is traveling and in which route he is traveling. Everything will be tracked in this field service. We'll discuss in detail there. 
and technology supporting as i said we have some different integrations we can perform azure and all and coming to this azure as i said uh, you know what is azure and all right cloud so in dynamic crm also we are going to have the azure platform but up to some extent so here as i said if you, here we are going to have different platforms one is power platform admin center one is like microsoft 365 admin center one is like azure admin center here whatever we are required required we are going to perform those options only now let's say we have the power automate here which is used to have some flows and all right so here in the power automate we could see the process mining and rpa as well but here whatever we require that only we are going to log it is like vast subject which i mean to say here microsoft is not providing the different platforms uh, sorry different uh, admin centers there within the single admin center now let's say in microsoft 365 admin center you are going to provide access to the sharepoint team integration outlook and all even for the dynamic crm that's how we need to understand how this uh, microsoft is integrated like single product there right okay it is i need to uh, provide otp and all but let me keep it on yeah this is for your basic understanding i mean to say what is this microsoft crm just for a recap I guess I was able to provide you the basic information on what is CRM in what is CRM and why to choose the CRM and what are the uh, CRMs available in the industries and why you would like you need to choose the dynamic CRM and uh, regarding the job opportunities I have explained I guess and provided the clear uh, understanding of difference between the CE and FNO I guess I have provided this information and here and coming to this course content uh, here it will take like 38 to 40 days. 38 to 40, sorry, 38 to 40 days is the course period. Here we are going to provide all the sales service marketing and field service uh, applications there. And uh, while discussing the concepts, uh, after explaining the functionality, I'm going to make you create one application. I mean, this is some sort of project here. Don't expect like huge project like companies as we don't have that much resources here. So we are going to create all whatever the concepts we are learning each and every functionality, each and every concept we are going to implement on our project. So by end of this 40 days, you are able to complete one mini project. And after that, I'm going to create, uh, give you one, again, one mini project there. So for that project, you need to do from your own, from the scratch. So for that, uh, in the class, actually, while discussing the functionality, whatever the functionality I'm designing, now let's say I want to create some workflow, one, one process there, backend process. I will create the process by seeing the video you can repeat the same in your application right but the after completion of this 40 days i'm going to create give you a new project in that project you need to create you need to complete that project so that with this course you are able to have at least hands-on experience for the two projects uh, so that you can once you place into some companies you can have some real-time experience at least at least i mean to say it's not like expertise level as you know it is it is like regular learning process but at least you know what to learn and how to uh, troubleshoot the issues there. at level you can be ready after complete after if you are able to perform these two projects there and there is a whatsapp group will be created of course you are already there in the whatsapp group in, uh, for every class we will we will be going to record the session and the recording video will be uploaded within two to four hours after completion of the class that recording link will be posted in the whatsapp group and the same notes whatever the i am explaining here these notes will also be posted in the whatsapp group and uh, if you have any questions, by end of the class, I will take the question regularly. If you have the question, you can ask at the time. Otherwise, if you while you are practicing, if you have any questions, you can make use of that WhatsApp group only so that you can ping your questions with the screenshot or with the clear understanding. Please don't go with hi and hello. Just put your total message there. So if I am awkward with my other uh, office works, at least within a couple of hours, within two hours, like minimum one minute to two hours, I am going to respond to your queries. This is how the process will be go uh, will be uh, step by step. This is how we will uh, teach here. That's what. Please now it's like open forum. Please let me know if you have any questions now. And from uh, I could see one chat here. I want to go for both CE and FNO. This is one question I could see in the chat. Yeah, uh, I want to go for both CE and F FNO. But to answer your question, I guess. Uh, Till now, in my career, I have not seen any consultant who has the knowledge on both CE and FNO, to be, to be frank. I mean to say, it's like hectic. I mean to say, no companies are expecting from the candidates to have both the knowledge, it's like CE and FNO. It's not required, but if you want to go, that's fine. But for the CE, it takes 40 days. And for this FNO, it, it's like daily, if you go with the daily three hours, 
at least here you need to go with finance and supply chain management is the basic applications which you need to have these two knowledge there this is two at least if you want to enter into fno these two applications should be mandatory and along with this some of the companies are asking for the warehouse management as well so that if you want to go with this three thing daily one hour it will take two and a half months so if you plan for daily three hours it will take two and a half two and a half hours for the course period in the, if you want to go have more information of this fno please ping in the whatsapp group so my admin team will help you and guide you to get more information on this fno and coming to the ce as per as i uh, i go with ce here so with the ce it's sufficient to get the job i hope i answered your question Yeah, please let me know if anyone has any questions. That's as you are going to spend some time here, uh, like at least 40, 40 days, I mean to say. Uh, so try to take a wise decision. I mean to say, if you are not aware of CE and if you think other thing, and if you come here, like CE, it's not about uh, this one, I am going with the finance and operation. Uh, no issue, you can drop out, uh, you can drop, just you can leave a message so that we can guide you for the F and there. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Suras. Yes, please. Yeah, I am Pavan here. Uh, classes will be online or offline? Uh, currently, it is online only, Pavan. Uh, it's not getting time to go with the offline. It is online only. And the recording will be shared in the YouTube. Uh, will be uploaded in the XIT Solutions YouTube channel. And will be shared to you. Morning or evening classes will be? Will be in the evening only. Now, maybe from the, uh, from the tomorrow or day after tomorrow, we'll, we'll announce the date. Maybe today is Thursday, right? Maybe from Friday again, it will be Saturday. So the regular classes, maybe I'm planning with the uh, uh, Monday, that is going to be 7 to 8, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. But we'll update you in the chat if any changes in it. For now, it is like from Monday, 7, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. The regular classes will be. Okay. Uh, as I have a healthcare experience uh, here, so can I do this one? Uh, what is your, I mean to say, the graduation is like BE? Yeah, graduation, become graduation. Yeah. Health sector, what application you are using there? In the healthcare, like uh, it's a uh, anesthesia process, so anesthesia software we are using. Okay. So you know the process of like what is sales, service and all, right? Basic knowledge, like basic term knowledge if you have, right? You have that basic knowledge, like sales, service. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah, you can go with it, Paul. No issue. Okay, oh, thank you. Yep. Yeah. yeah, hi. Uh, sir, our timing, sir, uh, uh, can we have any flexibility? It is around from 6 to 7 or uh, 7 to 8. Uh, you said that it is from 7 to 8. Uh, is there any uh, deviation from the time? Usually, uh, actually, uh, today I banished. Uh, regularly six to seven i used to have some client call actually uh, so it might be oh, not possible yes. but seven to eight is like eight to nine is also eight to nine is also eight to nine is also fine for us i'm so sorry to interrupt you eight to nine is also fine for us if everyone are okay with that we can go ahead with eight to nine yeah we'll, we'll eight discuss nine is, uh, getting, i'm not I'll... the uh, sorry to interrupt so here maybe i'm not the right person why because there is like total 10 to 11 participants here so you will get a call from admin team so please provide your feasibility time they will uh, based upon the majority of it maximum it is like 7 to 8 or 8 to 9 or at least 7 30 to 8 30 we'll figure out figure out that thing so, so based eight upon to nine is flexible time for us <laughs> Okay, one is Kavita and uh, sorry, other user I could see Zoom you user. Are, Priya and Srihita, we are two people are there. Yeah. Okay, we'll so let for you... us it is flexible for eight to nine actually. So that's the reason. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll see that. We'll see that. No issue. Seventy-eight or eight to nine, that's both fine, but but we'll we'll let you know. Sure. Thank you, sir. Yeah, hi. Hi, this is Satish. Yes, I have doubt like, yeah. Uh, so you mentioned about the C-sharp code, right? Correct. So that is the prerequisite for this course or that will no, be no, covered no. in this? No, no. Function, if you want to go with the functional consultant, mm. you don't need to have the ABC of C-sharp as well. You don't need to have the knowledge of C-sharp code. Okay. If you want to go with the technical consultant, then you should be knowing the C-sharp. 
so for that here we are not covering the c sharp okay. because as you know the c sharp will take at least three months yeah here we are covering in, in the 40 days it is like functional consultant only if you want to okay. go with the technical along with this thing you need to learn the c sharp as well it's like separate course okay okay so is it a seven day program or uh, can we have a break in the weekend uh, no it's like monday to saturday but okay monday to saturday sunday is, uh, is break and saturday maybe sometimes i may skip the saturdays but just i'm giving heads up now itself but usually okay. uh, in the previous sessions like i guess this is my 36th batch i guess but the, the thing is uh, we used to have the saturday only for the review sessions in the previous okay. uh, sessions what we will do is saturday it is only for the review from monday to friday i'm going to uh, teach you the concepts and i'm going to provide some tasks there and Saturday okay. will be review on the sessions which we covered from Monday to Friday. And if there is any questions on those topics, I'm going to attend those questions on Saturday. And whatever the task I have provided, if you are not able to complete those tasks, that will be taken care of on the Saturday. This is designed for the Saturday usually in my previous batches. But from last couple of batches, I couldn't see any responses over the Saturday. So we changed the plan. And from Monday to Friday, Monday to Saturday, we are going with the regular classes only. Okay. okay, thank you. Uh, to answer your question, Monday to Saturday is going to be the regular. Maybe some alternate, maybe some somehow it may skip for the Saturday, but Monday to Friday is like regular. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Sir, uh, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, the classes would be from same uh, same time, sir. Uh, this is demo class, Ashwak. Uh, maybe the regular classes will be from today is Thursday. Regular classes will be commenced from Monday. Okay, then Friday and Saturday are not uh, no classes. Are... No classes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no classes. Regular classes like from the uh, from Friday. So sorry, from Monday, fifth of August. Okay. We'll update the time in the chat. Uh, sorry, in the WhatsApp group. Some of them are requesting for eight to nine, and some of them seven to eight. But we'll we'll check and we'll update by tomorrow end of the day. And Balbir, sure, thank you so much. And regarding the chat, Balbir, sorry if I'm wrongly pronouncing your name. Here you said yes. Thanks. Can I learn function only of both S C and F and O? Uh, I'm not sure, Balbir, but why you are going with the two things here? That is going to be a big headache for you if you go with the two things here. That means to make you understand, you are learning the MPC and BIPC. Just to regular terminology, I'm telling you, you are looking to learn both MPC and BIPC. No need of it, right? So you can choose one path. So you can concentrate on one path so that you can have in-depth knowledge on one, one particular course is more than enough. As per my suggestion, as per my knowledge, I can tell you. Both is not required. It's like waste of your time and it's like waste of your resource or money or whatever. So you can go with CE or F and O. That's fine. You can choose anyone. You can go with F and O. That's fine. If you go with CE, that's fine. But one is sufficient. No need of going with the both the things. But if you have interest, that's up to you. But just try to focus at least one first, like CE or F and O, whatever. After completion of that, if you still want to go with the other one, you can decide. But my suggestion is to don't go with the parallel. If some sometime after 15 days, if you decide it's like you also feel the same like me, then it's like waste of your time and your resources there. So just go with one one first, like CE or FNO, that's up to you. And after 20 days, you can decide that. You only will suggest to others that then it's not required to go for the other one. So in the initial days, I mean to say, now if you can go with only one. Still after 20 days, you feel the same, then you can decide. I hope I answered your question. Any questions, let me know. Yeah, as I said, don't hesitate to question your answers, uh, question here. If you have any questions there, please let me know. If you are not able to uh, raise your voice, please at least ping in the chat or you can also ping in the WhatsApp. And today I'm going to share these notes there just for your understanding so that you can get my number in the WhatsApp. So this is the notes which I'm going to paste. That is my number. So if you want to ping me separately, you can ping me separately in the WhatsApp. That's up to you. Or you can ping in the group. That's up to you if you have any questions there. 
yeah that's it from my end uh, if you have no questions I, we can wind up the session Yeah, I will take the silence as no questions and we'll wind up the session for today and we'll let you know by tomorrow end of the day, the class timings and all. The class, regular classes will from Monday. Sure, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.